Hi folks and welcome to this quick tutorial on setting up the PayPal sandbox for testing your PayPal payment system. My name is David Gewertz and let's get started. First let me point out that you should be running Seamless Donations 4.08 or above. Uh, there were some pretty serious bugs in the PayPal interface from 4.0 through 4.06 so do make sure you're running the latest version. So with that, let's move over to our settings tab, which is over here. And you'll notice that at this point, pay, first off, you'll notice that there's a PayPal settings section and then the PayPal interface mode. Right now, the PayPal interface mode is in the live production server, which means donations would come in and go straight to PayPal and actually count. But we want to do test donations. So we're going to switch that to sandbox. And you'll notice that when we switch it to Sandbox and save PayPal settings, we get this nice little warning. Uh, Seamless Donations is configured to use the Sandbox server. This is going to flow through your entire dashboard. And its purpose is pretty simple. When you're no longer able to get donations, you kind of want to know that you're able to get donations. So when you're in test mode, this will be here no matter where you are in your dashboard. Okay. So we're back in settings. The other thing is, is that this email address will be different whether you're in your sandbox mode or you're in your regular mode. Right now this is my sandbox email address and I'm going to take you into PayPal to look at how you get this. So let's do that next. When you come to PayPal Developer, uh, and this is the, the URL you're going to want, you're going to want to go to PayPal, uh, excuse me, developer.paypal.com and log in here. Now if you don't have a login, you'll want to sign up. I'm already logged in, so I'm going to switch to the login tab and take us to the dashboard. So when we come to the dashboard, you'll notice this section called Sandbox. And this is kind of important because what we're going to be doing is working in a fake mode of PayPal that's called Sandbox. And you're going to need to create accounts. This is actually the key to making the Sandbox work. Uh, you're going to actually create two accounts a facilitator account or basically the website donation destination account and a fake buyer account. So if you think about the top one, this is you. This is the account you're going to want because this is where the donations come to. And this is a fake buyer account which will be used uh, to simulate a buyer who is buying from your service. So those are the two key things you're going to need to do. Okay, we're back. I had to take a short break for a moment, but let's continue. So the next thing you're going to want to do is set up your IPN, which is the way PayPal communicates back to the server. Uh, think of it as a two-phase approach. What will happen is when your and seamless donations, a donation happens, that is somebody fills out the form. Uh, the results of the form are then sent to PayPal. PayPal then does some processing and then PayPal takes the results of that and sends it back to the server. That sending it back to the server is called an IPN and we're going to set up that now. The way we do that is identical whether you're using the sandbox or you're using regular PayPal except you're going to use different accounts. So remember that info facilitator in this case is my simulated business account. So I'm going to come over here to PayPal. Now notice that I am using sandbox.paypal.com, not paypal.com. And I'm going to log in. And in this case, uh, paste in my password and I'm going to log in. And now I'm in my simulated PayPal account where I have made a lot of simulated money. Uh, so from here, what you want to do is go to Profile, My Selling Tools. And then come down here to where it says Instant Payment Notifications and hit Update. And then choose your IPN settings. And what we're going to do, first off you want to receive IPN messages and then let's go back to Seamless Donations. And now we're going to come back down here and first off let's point out that now you understand where this email address comes from. This email address comes from the test account info facilitator which is the business or the, uh, the account for that receives donations. We'll come back over here and then this 
is the IPN URL, which is the URL that is going to, that PayPal will use to talk back to the server. So let's grab this, copy, come back over here, paste it, and then save. And then we should be all set. It's enabled and it's ready. So let's come back to seamless donations and let's test it. Before we do, let's take a quick visit over to our log, which you can get to up here as well. And notice the log is empty and again that we're in test server mode. So let me open up the test site. And go to the sample page. And here we have a very simple donation form with some very simple settings. For the purpose of this, I'm just gonna donate five bucks and call us PayPal demo, PayPal at demo.com and hit donate. At this point, I'm gonna turn this guy back off. We're over here now. This time, we don't wanna log in as the um, facilitator because we're simulating the customer. So we wanna make sure we log in as the customer. And to do that, I'm gonna pause the video for just a sec. Hit login. All right, so we have our thing. Now, in this case, the mailing address and so forth are not being passed along because I didn't ask it to pass it along when uh, when I filled out the form, I wasn't asking for email address or anything else. So PayPal is just filling in dummy data. So I'm donating five bucks to myself right now. My little sandbox world. Now notice again, we are in sandbox.paypal.com. Keep that in mind and check it. You just want to make sure that you're, <laughs> you know, sending your test donations to the right place. And then I'm going back to the store. So we're now, thank you for donating and thank you. Email has been sent. Now, if we come back to seamless donations, first off, let's go to, I'll come back to the log in a second, but let's go to donations. And you can see that PayPal demo has uh, shown up. Let's go back to the log. And this is important. Let's talk about how the log works because this will be your key tool for diagnosing any issues when dealing with PayPal. First off, you'll notice that there are three large blocks, preparing donation form, donation transaction started, and processing PayPal transaction. So what we have here is this is the preparing donation form. This shows up every single time one of your forms is, lo is loaded. So whenever somebody hits your form, whenever it's refreshed, whatever, this will show up and it will assign a session ID. This session ID will travel through the entire transaction process and is used to store transaction data when you switch to PayPal. So here, the next section is the donation transaction started and the, the, the log data will change as time goes on, especially if I have new things that look like they need to be validated or tested or researched or you know any sort of, of test information that I need to put in here will go into the log. So it won't be exactly the same, but there's a few things you should look for. First off, you should make sure that you have a donation form and a transaction started. If you don't have a transaction started, it means that nothing was recorded into seamless donations on the outgoing path. The second thing is you wanna make sure that the IDs, the session IDs match, uh, because what we're doing is that's the form, this is what's actually being stored in the database for the return trip. And so, we have this, then we still haven't hit PayPal. If you'll notice, we have redirecting to PayPal now. Now, the IPN is interesting because IPNs don't always come back at the same time. It is what is considered asynchronous. In other words, you're going to PayPal and PayPal will get around to processing your data and sending it back. Uh, so this may not happen as quickly as this one did. In this case, it happened within um, you know, a relatively quick time, but in, uh, in normal, circumstances it might take longer. But anyway, again, you want to match this transaction ID. You want to make sure that these three match because what this is doing is it's saying, okay, I'm coming back. Now I'm pulling all the data from the form that the user entered in initially and I'm going to store it in the seamless donations database for things like donations and donors and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it'll also tell you that um, the payment status is completed and that a donation record has been completed and processing is complete. Now you may see some spurious uh, IPN transactions as well 
because either PayPal may send you multiple IPN transactions. IPM is a little weird from PayPal. They will occasionally send you extra IPNs for the same transaction. Nobody knows why. It's just how they do it. Uh, so what I do is uh, check for duplicate session IDs, and if there's a duplicate session ID, I discard the second and subsequent ID. I also check for blank or inaccurate data in case somebody has decided to pound on your server because they want to see whether or not there's donation data they can get to. So once all of that is done, you have a transaction completed, and you are able to get uh, your data from PayPal. You should be able to find what you need in um, donations, donors, and funds, and you should be all set. Uh, and there you go. Thank you for listening, and have a good day.